Hello everybody, welcome to episode two of my Unsolved Mystery Reboot. Um, today we're going to do episode two, which is called 13 Minutes and goes into, you know, the unsolved homicide of Patrice Andres and how she ended up deceased behind the Lebanon church. And so what I'm going to do is break down, you know, the details of who I do and do not see involved in her murder and hopefully bring some understanding and, you know, closure so that her son could heal and whoever else loved on. I mean, it looks like the community loved her. So I hope this helps and watch further if you want to see what happened. Thank you. Okay, so first of all, I want to discuss Patrice and, you know, did she know the person who was responsible for her murder? And what I'm getting on a psychic level is that Patrice did know the person responsible for her murder. And so I'm also picking up that Patrice was walked alive back behind that church. She wasn't dragged back there. So I feel like, you know she was forced back there with a weapon and what I'm seeing and unfortunately I'm picking up as the cause of murder for Patrice is a knife and so I feel like I don't know how it happened you know but I'm you know probably she was walked back there with a knife um, against her will and so what happened was I don't I don't want to get into the details of that, but it looks like, you know, it could have been a painful, you know, death, which is so sad for her. But I am seeing stabbing as the cause of death um, for Patrice, and I see that she was alive when she was walked back there. Okay, so the next thing I want to discuss is, you know, the main suspect, which, you know, a lot of people probably watching that episode would think it's her husband, Rob, you know, the behavior in that documentary, I watched it, I was like, I could not believe this man kicked her son out of the house at 15 the day after, you know, she went missing, which is to me, like, inconceivable that somebody would have that lack of a compassion. I mean, yes, their relationship was contentious, you know, between, you know, Rob and her son, because he was a rebellious teen, but that's no reason to just, you know, this kid lost his mom and you're going to put him out on the street. Okay, so basically, I don't see Rob involved in the murder. I mean, a lot of, you know, circumstantial thoughts would go in that direction, but it's absolutely not what I see. I've doused and I just, I know she knew the person that was, you know, responsible for her murder, but it wasn't her husband, Rob. Okay, so also something I'm picking up on Patrice's murder is that the person responsible for killing her is actually a serial killer. <laughs> so they've murdered more than once um, before. And what I see as the motive, which is very, you know, for, from what I've seen, it's very rare for this to be a motive for a serial killer. But what I'm picking up that there is a financial motive. Um, behind her murder. And so a few different um, people's names came up in the documentary. So I did some divination. And the first one I want to discuss is Jeremy Jones. And so what I've been getting from spirit on a psychic level is Jeremy Jones, he's not involved, <laughs> like it's not him. And so I feel like he was just throwing stuff out there to lower his sentence or something with while he was in jail. And so I just, I don't see that Jeremy Jones has anything to do with this murder. And so what I also am picking up, the other name that came up is Gary Hilton. And so I did some divination and right away the pendulum went crazy on his name. And so I really feel like Gary Hilton um, is the person responsible for Patrice's murder. And so what I am seeing also in connection with her truck, well, what I feel like is it had been happening for a while. Like Patrice knew um, this guy. Gary would come into her hair salon and I feel like he met her, first of all, she just cut his hair. Um, and so she's a friendly lady and I feel like he kept coming back because Patrice had a big heart and I feel like she's very compassionate. And so... I feel like this guy was trying to milk money out of her. I'm picking up like a sob story about his health or something like that. And she had been really generous and was helping him out. And I feel like he showed up that day that she was murdered and was like demanding more money. And so basically she didn't have it or she's like, listen, I have my limits, you know, and I actually am picking up that 
you know, that truck was moved because Gary and her drove to possibly take money out of an ATM. And so they drove back and left the car there. Um, not the car, but the truck. And so I feel like it was moved because, you know, he took her to the ATM to get more money out of her. Okay. And so basically, uh, after that, I feel like Gary is the one responsible. He took her. I don't feel like she was held, you know, for a long time before she was murdered. Like some of other, you know, I read about Gary's other, I researched it a little. Um, he had held a previous victim alive for a few days. And I don't see that was the case with Patrice. I feel like it happened on that day. He's like, you're not giving me money. Well, this is what's going to happen. And he took her, drove her to that church, walked her back there and kind of ended her life. It's so sad. Um, but that's what I see. And so, you know, I'm pretty sure Gary's already in jail for, you know, murdering other people. But hopefully, maybe they could look back on this case and find, you know, more evidence. And maybe this could also help her son heal. And, you know, I, I know, like, he probably is thinking it's Rob and Rob's responsible. But I just am here to tell him that Rob was not cool at all. And, you know, he... He hurt you really bad, like worse than I can ever conceive. But I just, I don't see that Rob was responsible for, you know, Patrice's murder. And so I guess I'm going to end this here. And I know it's kind of a sadder episode to discuss, but I hope in some way that doing this video could help people that knew Patrice heal and maybe even bring justice on some level and awareness to, you know, you can't be nice to everybody. Oh, okay. Well, thanks for watching. And the next one will be episode three. So we'll see where that takes us. Thank you so much. And I look forward to connecting more. Thank you.